We speak student. Choosing a topic, a la schmuck. Okay, so before you write the Great American Essay, you'll need to settle on the、uh, Great American topic. After all, you might be able to pen the most thrilling treatise, even on the properties of drying paint. But you're still probably going to lose a majority of your audience before the third paragraph. Well, I thought it was very interesting. Once you feel you may have chosen a winning topic, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Question numero uno: What is the most interesting element of this topic? Going back to our paint drying example, what is the most interesting thing you could say about it? That some brands dry faster than others? That drying it under natural sunlight works better than drying it under a heat lamp? Boring. On the other hand, take a topic like America's national pastime of baseball being gradually replaced by football. Even if you aren't a sports nut, you have to admit that there's a deep well to draw from there. Yeah, it's pretty deep around here. Fans of each sport are fiercely passionate about their respective games. The sports themselves have fascinating and turbulent histories, and hey, who can't get behind nachos and hot dogs? Okay, next question: Who are your intended readers? Why do you want to know who's going to be reading your opus? Whoa! Well, if, for example, you're trying to change your readers' minds about something, they probably don't all already agree with you. Thanks. That one was dirty. <laughs> You'll want to have some idea of where they're coming from, so you know the best way to craft your argument. You wouldn't try to sell somebody a vacuum cleaner if they've already got one, would you? That would suck. Next, what is your belief about the topic? Are you just kind of meh about it? Meh. If so, probably not a great topic. You need to be able to take a strong stand on one side of the issue or the other. There's no room here for wishy-washiness. Unless your topic has something to do with laundromats, <laughs> how might your beliefs differ from those of your readers? To bring everyone else over to the dark side, you'll need to have the ability to play devil's advocate. Give in to your hatred. If you can anticipate what their responses might be to your argument, you can head them off at the pass. What evidence or examples can you use to support your point of view? Because I said so. Doesn't hold a ton of weight in an essay. If you can think of at least two or three strong supporting points that lend credence to your argument, you might be barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Finally, and this goes with the whole devil's advocate thing. What evidence would your readers be able to provide that would counter your argument? Yeah, it's basically like one great big game of chess. If you're able to look four or five moves ahead. You've got a pretty good chance of winning the game. Does your topic pass the test, or、uh, should we start、uh, fluffing our pillows? Give in to your hatred. <laughs>